Hi there, YouTube family. Welcome back to Being Becky 365. I am here today to do, you know, a Dollar Tree haul with you guys. I know it's been a while. I have a ton of things stocked up to go through with you guys. Some Christmas things, some ideas for maybe stocking stuffers, or some things like that. But massive is not the word. This is a super massive haul. For you guys, I'm sorry, that are new, welcome to Being Becky 365. For those of you who are not new, welcome back to Being Becky 365. So I am so glad that you took the time to to click on this video and to spend a little video and to spend a little bit of time with me. So that being said, sit back, get yourself a snack, get yourself a drink because this is a humongous haul. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the things that I have most of and that is the food products. Dollar Tree has not been disappointing with their food products. Now you guys know I am a frugal shopper. I am the one who is gonna tell you where you can get a deal and um, tell you if this is not a good deal so and why I bought it anyway so let's jump into it let's start off with let's start off with some coffee Dollar Tree you guys has Harry and David I don't know if that's like sort of Harry and David coffee it, they have two different kinds. They have this kind, which is the vanilla creme brulee, and they have this, which is the house blend. Now, are these probably good deals? They are four ounces, and they may be a good deal. I didn't get them because they were a good deal. I got them because I am making a Christmas basket for one of my besties and the person who has everything. So I decided to make a Christmas basket for her and her husband, and they absolutely love Harry and David coffee. They were the ones who turned me on to Harry and David coffee. Now, anyone who knows anything about coffee knows Harry and David coffee is not a cheap brand. It is a name brand. It is an expensive brand of coffee. Uh, I think they sell them sometimes in stores, in certain stores, but mostly sold online. So, wanted to let you know, they have that. Again, it is four ounces. So, you probably can get, I don't know, maybe a couple of pots of coffee out of this. But I thought it was a really cute and the just the right size for a Christmas basket that I am creating. And I am going to get them some special mugs to go along with that also. And some little snack things. As you can see, those are coming up as well. Also, they had this, um, it's called Modern Pantry. Can you see that? Modern, okay, that's better. Modern Pantry Lactose-Free Hazelnut Coffee Creamer. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but I am so, I am lactose intolerant. I usually do oat milk sometimes the um, almond milk creamers, but mostly oat milk creamers. I'm going to give this a try. I've heard good things about this. Not so much this brand, but the lactose-free um, creamers. So I'm going to give it a try, let you guys know how it is. Okay, now, this coffee, I've heard good things about it too. Again, this is going in, in the basket for my friend. It's called Junior's Coffee. And it's called the most fabulous Brook Brooklyn blend. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. I'm sorry, you guys. It's late. I'm getting all kinds of shadows. I have been saving these things for probably like four weeks. And some of them I just got today. Some of them have been sitting here for four weeks. And, it, and as you can see coming up, we have tapped into some of them too. So um, this coffee as well which is going inside of the basket also let's stick with the basket um i thought i would do a basket with some of my favorite snack items from the dollar tree these yams nuts are so good and they are just the right size for a snack these are so good these are the um these are the roasted 
and um, Finley glaze. It's like a honey glaze or something like that that's over these. These are not too sweet either. Not too sweet. These are really good. Um, also, I got these. And these are the ones. These are roasted and sprinkled with black sesame and chia seeds. These are good too. I've tried these. Now, they also have another... Um, one that has coconut coating on the top of it. I am not a coconut fan and neither is my friend. So I decided not to pick those up. So those also will go in the basket. And this, my friends, I don't know how many of you like this. I tried this a couple of years ago. It is called, um, is it Balduca? It's a mini patentone. Panetto? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sure I just butchered that. Um, I do believe that this is an Italian dessert, if I'm not mistaken. This is fabulous. It's not too sweet. And it's sort of like a bread, a sweet bread. That's what it is. It's like a sweet bread. And it has chocolate chips in it. And this is the small box. This is like um, probably for two people. You probably can get four slices out of this, 3.5 ounces. I've had the big one from Aldi is where I first got this from. This is a name brand. This is absolutely a name brand. This is good stuff. You guys should try it. This is also going to go in the basket. And not only did I get one for them, but I got one for me too. Because I love that. Um, I think that's it for the basket, but not it for the food products. Let's keep it rolling. Um, Craisins, Ocean Spray, you guys, $1.25. This is a good deal. These things, I know they're over $2 at Kroger. I know they are. And this size, they're over $2 at Kroger. Great deal, great deal, great deal. My favorite thing, favorite candy cane, candy cane size, the mini candy canes. Love Christmas. Love that for Christmas. Also, I got some breakfast biscuits. Now, I've heard good things about these. Now, these are, can you see them? Are they? These are not, I don't know if these are name brand or not. These are Sobiscuit, Sobisk, and these are the blueberry, and these are, you know, the kind of biscuits that you can dunk in your coffee. Um, they're a crunchy biscuit, not a, not a soft biscuit. I am going to have um, a soft bake bar come up here in a minute, but these are crunchy. Um, I've heard good things about them. I'm going to give them a try. This is 50% more. This is nine packs in here. Each pack has I want to say two. It doesn't say. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to say two biscuits are in each pack, but it doesn't say. It just says that um, one serving size is a pack, and there's nine servings in here. So, um, um, it doesn't say. It doesn't say how many biscuits per pack. You guys are going to have to excuse me, too. I'm a little rough. I've been out all day today. It is the season, and it's rough out there, you guys. It is rough. Also, I have never seen these in the Dollar Tree. Royal Gold Thin Pretzels. These are going to go in my snack bag inside of my car. But um, this is the big bag. It is three and a half ounces. Not the huge bag, but it's the like the super size bag. Um, so three and a half ounces, $1.25, which is a great deal. These are going in my car for when I am in the car and I get hungry. Um, yeah. Also, um, I purchased, as you can see, we've gotten into this. Um, this is the mini size Snyder mini pretzels. This is the size that they are. These are the snack size. Each bag is 0.5 ounces. It comes with six bags and it's great for the kids. Great for if you um, just want a little snack while you're sitting at the computer or while you're sitting watching TV. Great. These are all gone. I got one bag left. Yeah, they, can you tell I like them? Those are gone. Uh, also, what we have, um, let's talk about candy canes. Let's talk about candy canes. 
now and later the absolute best flavor now and later ever at all time green apple now and later candy canes i can't wait my son has been asking me mama did you film this mom did you film this mom did you film this so he can crack into this so i'm filming this so that he can get into these now and later man the dollar tree is not disappointing this year also can you tell you know i i'm i'm, I'm in the snack mood jet puffed i love all things marshmallow jet puff marshmallows this is the s'mores flavored it is marshmallows coated with chocolate and sprinkled with graham crackers on the top can you see that they are four ounces and it has um it has four servings in here and the serving size is four pieces and it has about four servings so there's probably about 16 pieces in here somewhere between 12 16 pieces in here i cannot wait i love all things marshmallow my favorite mar um other than candy canes my favorite christmas uh candy are the marshmallow chocolate coated marshmallow santas and reindeer or whatever the dark chocolate ones now this doesn't say that this is dark chocolate it doesn't say what kind of chocolate it is it appears to be dark chocolate from the package it doesn't look like milk chocolate it doesn't matter i'll still eat it there you go also i've heard good things about these the werther's um caramel apple filled candies ah uh, i had one of these i have two packs of these i broke open one pack these things are you guys mm, yes it is 2.65 ounces roughly two pieces per um per serving and there's six servings in here so 12 pieces per pack i have two packs one pack is already open i've already put it in my candy jar you guys gotta try it you gotta try it also i got some candy canes i love these candy canes these remind me of the old-fashioned uh, the glare there we i think that's better reminds me of the old-fashioned candy canes i put these in my tea and i put them in my hot chocolate and i put them in my coffee when i am doing the peppermint mocha coffee and i it enhances the peppermint flavor i love those things i love those things i love them love them love them also i have you guys i found this at the dollar tree the regular pack of applesauce with six in it not the one with four but the one with six and it's um just has home style applesauce apple snacks is um uh, the brand and it has six cups see it's the regular one that used to carry when before everybody started downsizing things i think this was a hit or miss and i hit on this so love applesauce and a couple of those are going in my car as well for my snacks now, what I'm going to keep in the house are these. These are my favorite butter um, pretzels. These are the Butter Snap Pretzels by Snyder. This is the big bag. It is nine ounces um, at $1.25. They used to carry these um, all the time exclusively, but then they stopped and they only had the wheat um, sticks or twists. Now they've got the butter snaps back. You guys better jump on that before they stop carrying it again. Um, also for my car, I got the box of Cheez-Its. This is just snack for my car to hold me when I'm in traffic. Um, when I'm hungry to keep me out of the um, drive-thru. That's, that's what it's for. Now, YouTube family. I am going to have you sit if you're not sitting down you need to sit down because this is this is this is an awesome deal they have dollar tree or dollar 25 tree however you would like to refer to it as the family size cheerios now it is the banana caramel but stay with me for just a minute stay with me for a minute banana caramel just go with me for a minute if you're using the vanilla almond milk or if you're using the vanilla oat milk, just go with me. Vanilla, as in vanilla ice cream, vanilla milk, bananas, caramel, 
my thought is this is going to taste like a very good banana split. I know I'm reaching. I know I'm reaching. But if all else fails, this was $1.25. It is a huge box. It is one pound and 2.5 ounces. So 18.5 ounces, $1.25. If all else fails, I can use it for a dry cereal snack. You guys, jump on this. Jump on it. I got two boxes of those. One for me, one for my friend Rhonda. Shout out to you, Rhonda. I got you some cereal. Now, if that wasn't good enough for you, if that was not good enough for you, you two family, the box is almost empty. I have been out all day. I'm sorry, I need to adjust myself. I'm sitting on my, my foot and I need to adjust myself because my foot is falling asleep. If I have been out all day trying to refine these again, every Dollar Tree in my area are out of these. General Mills. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Soft Bake Bars. YouTube family, these things are awesome. 12 in a box for $1.25. I opened them. I tasted them with my son. We have two, four, six left. 12 came in a box. They are this size and this is i don't know if it tells me what size this bar is this is 0 0.82 0 0.82 ounces it's a decent size it's just like any other breakfast soft bake bar you guys one dollar and 25 cents i have been on the hunt for these i got these last week on Thursday, so just two days ago, the Dollar Trees were full of these. I went back today. Today is Saturday. Everybody is out. It came in Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They had um, Lucky Charms, and they also had Golden Grams. If you see them, pick them up. Yet yeah, don't don't be like me. Don't just get one box. Get multiples because they don't expire until May 4th of 2023. Plenty of time. As you can see, these will probably be gone by Monday because I bought them Thursday. We got six left. Six are gone. You guys, I'm so upset with myself for not getting multiple boxes, but you know it is what it is. When I find them again, trust, I will sweep the shelf okay what have we got next for our food items now this next item i thought i would just try it i i don't it's not something that i need because i have red lobsters in the cabinet but pillsbury has a garlic cheddar biscuit i'm sorry cheddar garlic i said it backwards cheddar garlic biscuit mix um is it a is it a good deal i don't know it's seven ounces. I don't know if it's a good deal or not, um, but I'm going to try it and I'm going to see. I mean, it's, it's cheddar garlic biscuits. Who, who, you can't go wrong with that. You just, you just can't go wrong with that. Now, also, I am a lollipop freak. So I got some Tootsie Roll Pops. Um, this was the one with the extra value in it. Most of the times it's a smaller bag, but this bag is, I'm looking for the ounces on it. It's an extra value bag. You guys, you got to look um, in the shelves because Dollar Tree will put these larger sizes behind the smaller sizes. Dig for your deal. Dig for your deal. I don't know how many ounces it is. Oh, let's see how many lollipops it are. It is... One lollipop per seven, so there are 10, 10 in here. You don't normally get 10 in a bag of these. So 10 in that particular bag. What else do I have for food? Old Faithful toasted peanut butter crackers. Those are my go-to um, snack of all times. I love those. 
And those are um, one of my go-tos. I'm sorry, I'm digging under my little sofa chair here for um, my one of my items slid under there. Also got some gum, some Trident gum, 20 pieces. That's a good deal, you guys, with $1.25. Sometimes you can get that on sale at Kroger um, for $1.25, but I don't think you're um, gonna get any more than 20 pieces um, in that particular package. I'm looking down, and excuse me for doing that, because I'm making sure I have all of my food items that have been, um, I've shown you guys. Oh, that was a lot of food items, you guys. A lot of food items. Let's go into household items. Now, I saw this at Dollar Tree, and I absolutely um, fell in love with it. It was a Thanksgiving. I do believe it's Thanksgiving, but um, it says, be thankful. It is a drying mat. I purchased a drying mat, you guys, and I'm not bashing the store. How about I just not even say the name of the store? But it's a well-known store. And um, yeah, I bought a drying mat, washed it for the first time, and it no longer has the microfiber, the drying, it, it's just flat. So um, I bought this from the Dollar Tree and um, I wanna see how $1.25 works because I paid $6 for that mat. And um, yeah, it's worthless now. So I got this. It says, be thankful. It's really cute. I like it. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you guys get to see it? I like it a lot. So there we have that. Refills are my dish wand. Also got some parchment paper. I, I use this stuff like crazy. So that tis the season. Puffs. I always pick up one or two boxes whenever I go to the Dollar Tree. You can never have too many tissue. Also, keeping in, um, up with that household items, you guys, the Dollar Tree. Remember I just said I use parchment paper like crazy? These things are the pre-cut squares. So if you buy bulk meat, such as hamburger or ground chuck or ground sirloin, and you make your burger patties yourself, or even if you make um, sausage patties, these are pre-cut squares where you can just um, put parchment paper in between them before you put them in your Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer and they will come apart. They won't stick together. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Great buy, great buy. For $1.25, and you get 100 sheets. That's a good deal, 100 sheets for that. Um, also, pink Himalayan salt and paper. Um, napkins. I always get napkins. Um, I bought something different this time, you guys. I bought this jar, a bottle, I'm sorry, from the Dollar Tree. And maybe, how about like that? I bought, why did I buy this pop bottle from the Dollar Tree, you say? I am going to start making my own vanilla flavoring or vanilla extract is what you may call it. I um, learned how to make it on YouTube and also from Miss Becky from Acre Homestead. So I'm going to start, and also from Mary from Mary's Nest, I'm gonna start making my own vanilla and I'm gonna make it in this bottle. It takes roughly about mm, three months, I think, before it's usable, three to six months before you can use it. And um, I had better go to the liquor store because um, I need vodka. So what it is, is it's vodka and it's vanilla bean. So I've gotta order some vanilla bean, but I needed a jar to put it in or a container of some sort to put it in. And this is the one that Becky said is the best one. Now hers is colored. Um, it is um, like a dark color. And so mine is not, I don't think that that matters because when you buy it from the store, it's just in a clear bottle sometimes, but sometimes the McCormick is not, but I don't think it matters. Um, as long as it's in a, um, a cabinet, a cool place, I think um, getting ready so that you can use it. And again, it takes like three to six months before it's usable, um, before it's fully usable as an extract. So that's why I purchased that bottle. Um, also, just a couple of things that are just no rhyme or reason. 
I saw this, which is a, a new um, fragrance, uh, sort of like a bead, like a fabric softener bead. Um, yeah, okay, I think that might, I think you maybe can see that. It's like a fabric softener bead from the Dollar Tree. It's only 10.5 ounces, but it's $1.25. This is the, I don't know, some sort of floral. Oh, fresh clean, fresh clean scent. It also comes in a moonlit or moonlight, Caroline, moonlight something, moonlight scent. Um, of the two scents, this is the best. I purchased a number of these. These are just the two. This one is empty because I've used it already. Um, this is the other one. What do I say about this? It gives, it does give your clothes a very light scent, but the amount that you have to use in order to get that scent, I did not see a difference where I did not have as much snack, static in my clothes because it's winter and the heat is dry here. I did not have as much static as I would have had if I had not used anything, but there was still static in my clothes when I used this. So lesson learned it's not in a pinch you can use these are they downy unstoppables or are they the downy beads or the game beads no they're not um will they do the job yeah they will moderately do the job so you guys are going to have to make that decision on your own whether or not you would buy these the scent is a light scent it's not a heavy scent um and i use these in conjunction just like with the downy beads just like with the Unstoppables, just like with the Game Beads. I use this in conjunction with Bows. And um, the, the scent was, was still very, very light. So you can decide, you know, based on that, whether or not you would buy that again. Um, also got me a um, roller for my clothes because you probably can't see this right now. I am sitting on my floor and because I have some Christmas decorations over here, I'm going to show you guys. I have sparkle everywhere and you can't see it up top. But if I were to point the camera down at my legs, there is sparkle everywhere. And I need that roller to get that under control. So, yes. So I got that. And those things are, now those are a really good deal. Really, really good deal. Also, um, no rhyme or reason these older um absorbers i put these inside of i have a um there's a faux fireplace right here i purchased it offline it came with this offensive odor inside the cabinets the and so i put these in here and after probably about it's almost been a year the odor is finally finally subsiding and i just used these from the dollar tree after they would um they would be used all up and there was no more in there i would just replace it with another odor absorber and um they work so i got the lavender scent on that now i thank you cards i needed those for someone and i forgot that i had them so they'll serve for um another purpose now um i did get uh brad spencer um, notebook and a magnet to put on my car and another notebook. These were 75 cents. They had marked them down. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a metastatic breast cancer survivor too. So um, I support these. Um, Susan um, Coleman and um, the American Cancer Society any time and any way that I possibly can. Also, this just hit me, you guys. I saw this and I was like, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. Five star breakfast, I'm sorry, five star brunch. Tasty appetizing recipes. I love being able to touch my recipes. I, now, could I have gone online and gotten this and not have to pay anything and just print it out? Yes, I could, but I love the pictures. I wanna know what it's supposed to look like. I wanna touch it. I want it in a book form so that I can go back and reference it. A piece of paper, I'm probably going to throw it away so i love these little mini books that they have there i have a ton of them and um i love picking those up so um since we are um 
and the miscellaneous. Let's just keep it in um, stride with that. Also, I picked up a um, air freshener for my car. I have a membership, you guys, for a car um, wash service. We used to get our air fresheners for free, um, just like the vacuuming, the towels to dry off our cars. Now, I went there today to get my car washed, and they said, we now have to pay for our air fresheners. Well, what a crock that is. So I went to the Dollar Tree and got me an air freshener. How do you like that? Now, also, I have been seeing these all over the YouTube internet. These are the little candlesticks from the Dollar Tree that hold the taper candles. Um, I've been seeing these from um, Do It On A Dime. Uh, and now I just noticed that one of these is matte and one of them is not. But that's okay. I don't really care. These are going to go on my table for Christmas. I got some other new um, candlesticks. And I'm going to put these on there too. And I also got, I got two of each. Two of each. I also picked up the candles from the Dollar Tree. Now I picked up the taper. These are like, I wanted something that was going to add a little bit of interest. Not just a regular taper candle. I know I'm just going to burn the candle. But I, I got the ones that, can you see? The ones that have the little twist. My Alexa is going off, you guys. Give me a minute. Can you see? I got the ones that have the little twist in them. So I'm excited about those. Also, oh, I finally found this, you guys. This is the Softy um, conditioner and um, shampoo. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but it's paraben-free, um, and it's a detoxifying, cleansing, conditioner, and shampoo. Now, I used to remember that this was an African-American brand. Back in the day, when I was growing up, this was a hot brand. So, they are trying to make a comeback, and I'm going to give them a try. It's shampoo and conditioner. Um, how can you go wrong with that? I personally don't think that you can go wrong with that. So, um, all right. Oh, also, I got one of these little bins to put under my kitchen sink. Uh, I needed another one for the items that are under there. It was too much. So before I get into the Christmas items, I want to share with you some things that I got. I am going to a Christmas party next week, next Saturday. And the Christmas party is, I think it's sort of like that white elephant game or that whatever that elephant game is that you play at Christmas parties. And so I had to pick up 10 items that cost a dollar twenty-five or less, you guys, and they were supposed to be presents, something someone would want, not just me, but other people would want. So, let me get into what I found. I found some pretty good things, you guys. The Dollar Tree again did not disappoint. So, this is a battery-operated diffuser. Can you see it? It is a diffuser. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's a battery-operated diffuser. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not. This is how it looks. It's a battery-operated diffuser, $1.25. Also, now, because I absolutely love this item, I think that everybody should have one in their house. Um, I got this. Now, will the people think it's a great present? I don't know. But I certainly do. And when I moved, uh, relocated, I said I lost mine. For the longest of time, I could not find it in a Dollar Tree. But they got them back. Hamburger press. These things are my life. They meant, I do not buy generally buy hamburger patties already pre-made. I usually buy them. Uh, I buy actually turkey. I buy turkey brat, you know, ground turkey, and I make my own patties because I want to make um, ranch burgers or I want to make um, taco burgers and these things make the best most perfect hamburger 
press. It is a hamburger press, but you don't have to just use it for hamburgers. You can use it for sausage patties. Um, just don't press it as much because this would be a big, ginormous uh, sausage patty. But <laughs> it makes a perfectly round sausage patty. I don't know if you guys make um, your own um, breakfast sandwiches at home, but it makes a perfectly round sausage patty that fits on an egg a muffin. It fits on a bun perfectly. You guys got to try it. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome. That's um, present number two. Now, another thing I, I picked up, and I'm not sure that this is going to go over, so I do have a backup, is this hair curler. So what this is, is it's not heated. It's just, it. I don't have hair, but it just catches your hair and it makes waves. This I saw originally hauled by Thrifty Tiffany, and I thought, well, uh, the Dollar Tree had that. She actually tested it out, and it worked okay on her hair. Uh, but again... She a, has a different type of hair um, than that of my friends. I, 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 I got it. It was $1.25. If they don't want it, I do have a backup. So, yep, that's number three. Now, another thing I picked up because I am a kitchen freak. I love all things kitchen gadgets. Look what the Dollar Tree had. It is a butter container. It's like the Tupperware butter container. It just doesn't say Tupperware on it. But oh my goodness, if you drop your butter, guess what? The container I have now, if I drop that, that butter's going on the floor. It snaps closed. You guys, remember these from when you were a kid? Remember these? Remember when your mama had these? The Tupperware one like this? <laughs> yes, and not only did I get one for the present, but I got me one too. Yay, 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 yay. What is that, present number four? One, two, three, that's present number four. Okay, now, this one took me by surprise, you guys. This is a good one. So what this is, is this is, um, this is in the tech aisle, and it's a case for your earbuds, and what these things are is they put, you put these on top of your earbuds to help them fit snugger in your ear, if you can see the picture right there. See that? From the Dollar Tree, you guys. It's an earbud case. And it says that it protects, it's a protective shell. It's a comfort fit, soft wings, and a magnetic pot um, strap. And these are accessories. It says that these are accessories for, I thought it said for iPod, I, I, phone, earphone. Three pieces, accessory kit. For Air AirPod Pro, AirPods Pros, that's a great, a dollar and twenty five cents. That's great. Gift number five. Gift number six is these um, pillowcases. I have these and I absolutely love them. It's a satin pillowcase and it says "Sweet Dreams." Can you see that? Sweet Dreams. I wanted to get more, but I thought, no, just get one. That's gift number five. Gift number six. I have multiple of these. Love them. Got them from the Dollar Tree. Love them, love them, love them. These are scarf hangers. You can hang your scarves in these. Or you can put belts in these as well. I have lots and lots of scarves. It is winter time, you guys. When you want to hang up and see what scarves you have available. Yep. $1.25. Present number six. Is that what that is? Present number seven. Love it, love it, love it. It is a um, makeup brush cleaner. Um, I mean, what do you say? It's a makeup brush cleaner. Present number eight is a reusable straw that you can put in your purse. So when you're out and about, you can use a reusable straw if they have those paper straws. I don't particularly care for those paper straws so i usually have a reusable straw with me present number nine is a makeup applier i thought this was really cute and the case is cute too oh did yeah it's got a big glare i'm sorry it's getting dark outside and um present number 10 did not come from the dollar tree it is actually a present that i got from marshall's 
and it was one of their really usable bags. It's not close by, um, but it didn't come from the Dollar Tree. So that's present number 10. So those are y'all the 10 presents that I got for my, um, um, for my party. And for the backup present, if they do not like the hair curler, is this mug. Isn't this cute? It came from the Dollar Tree, one do and it's both sides, $1.25. So that are all. that is all the presents that I have. Let's get back into it. Let's do my Christmas items. So um, I have, as you will see in an upcoming video, a um, reindeer forest in front of my fireplace. So um, I decided I wanted to make a little reindeer village also um on my sofa table so i got this little i forgot what this is called it's called a bottle brush i think it's a bottle brush tree is what this called christmas tree i got it in silver and i got two of those also i got some more picks for my tree because this year um, I decided not to do ribbons on my tree, just ornaments and lights. And so I, um, there's a couple things I forgot. Um, so, oh, I'm sorry. I got three of those bottle brush trees, three. Um, so I got some picks for my tree, silver. My tree, by the way, is silver and red. I also got this red ornament. Is this not pretty? The, ah, this is so pretty to me. It's a bell. I also got this, um, not this particular style. It was um, the ones that are coming up. Um, I got those in silver as well. The ones that are coming up. I'm sorry about this, um, the sound of the bag. Um, I also got this in red. Oh, that's the tag, it fell off. That's a pretty one too. And why are my ornaments so big, you say? I have a 12 foot Christmas tree, as you will again see in an upcoming video when I show you the decorating of the Christmas tree and then the finished product. So I got that one. I also got some other ornaments that are silver. I got this one, yay. I got two of these. No, I just got one of this one, yay. I also picked up this one. It's just, just silver, just just a regular silver. Oh, and the other one just rolled over towards the stairs. So I will show you that in a in the upcoming video. Um, for my little um, village that I'm going to create, I've got some miniature reindeer also that I got from Target. And um, I'll let you know that when I show you the finished product of that. I got some fake snow. Not a lot. Just a little bit of fake snow, not a lot at all. Just enough to create a mess, basically, is what I got. So, yeah. Also, what I picked up was, um, I picked up some film. Um, I have a little glass window on the side of my door. And um, right now I have one of the temporary blinds up there, but it makes it so dark that it makes that area dark because I don't have a window there. So I picked this up so I can bring some light in. Um, also, let's tap into some health and beauty aids. That is it for my um, for my Christmas ornaments. I didn't need very many because I had so many left over from last year. So I didn't need very many ornaments. I just needed a little. And um, that's what I got for, for, for my Christmas ornaments. Now, health and beauty aids, you guys, I absolutely love this. This is the Colgate Renewal. Revitalizes gums. Is that, can you see that? Okay, maybe you can see it like that. That, um, I love this toothpaste. I love it. Um, for um, the longest of times, I could not find it anymore. I had purchased it multiple and I used them and I couldn't find it. So when I found it, I got three that will hold me for a little while. Um, and before I found those, I was having trouble finding those. I did buy me some Crest Pro Health toothpaste. So I 
am stocked up on toothpaste for the time being. Got some extra toothpastes for people who stop by. And I live probably about 45 minutes um, on a good day, 35 to 40 minutes on a bad day, 45 to an hour from the majority of my friends and family. So if somebody gets stranded or doesn't feel like driving back home, then I got some toothpaste, toothbrushes and some toothpaste for them. Needed to replace these. I was told you should be replacing these um, loofahs. This is the one on the stick for my back once every 30 to 60 days. So I needed to replace that. And um, that is what I have. I have one more item, you guys. I can't believe that I'm at the end already. One more item, you guys. And that is this Perry knife. I meant to do this when I was doing household items. I, again, am a kitchen gadget freak. This Perry knife, I wanted to get the Sudoku, is that what that's called? That type of knife, you, I don't know. You guys who are, you know, kitchen savvy know what type of knife I'm talking about. But these don't have a lot of weight to them. They don't, they're not heavy knives. They don't have a lot of weight, which makes me think they're not a good knife. But it says that they are stainless steel. And I wanted to try this because if they are sharp enough or if they're a good knife, then what I'm going to do is go back and get the bigger knives that are like this. If they're dull, I can just sharpen them. Every knife gets dull at some point and you just sharpen it to make it sharper. Um, I don't know what kind of quality it is. It is from Royal Norfolk. I did not Google this name. I did not Google this. So I'm going to try it and hopefully I will like it. If dullness is my issue, I got multiple sharpeners. I can sharpen it myself um, and we'll go ahead and move on. So you guys, that is it for my massive Dollar Tree haul. I want to thank you so very much for taking time out of your day to sit here with me and go through my haul and see what items I purchase. Hopefully you see something that you can look for in your Dollar Tree that's upcoming in your Dollar Tree or some things in your Dollar Tree that maybe you didn't think that you would like. Um, hopefully you will. So thank you so very much again for taking the time out of your day to spend, what, 30 minutes with me um, in this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I um, hopefully will be back on more of a consistent, regular basis come the beginning of the year. Going to try to get you guys some multiple videos out before the end of the year with it being Christmas. You guys, thank you so much for visiting Becky 365 Hopefully you will like, comment, and subscribe um, to this channel. I would love to have you as part of my community. You guys, again, thank you so much for stopping by and make it a great day.